Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. From this tutorial, we will start the advanced topic of JavaScript. We will start from the object. In previous lectures, we understand the basic of object and how to declare an object with properties. If you want to watch that video first, then you can watch that video from the top right corner of the screen. After you watch this video, you will understand how to declare an object and how to access object properties. But now, from this tutorial, we will dive deep into JavaScript and learn the advanced topic of JavaScript. So we will first quickly look at what is object and how to declare them and then we will take a closer look at a difference between array and object. As I said in the previous lectures, object is a container in JavaScript which contains properties. You can also call them aggregate or a complex data type. To declare an object, you need to specify curly braces. Let's understand how to declare an object. So we will just overview the object video first. So we'll just create an object here. So I will just say constant obj is equal to and in the curly braces, we will specify object properties. So when you are creating an object, you need to specify curly braces. So in this curly braces, we will specify a first property name string and value 45 now the first property is type of string and the second property value is type of number you can put function also in the properties we had learned that in the previous lectures so now let's understand what is the difference between array and object in the previous lecture i asked question what is the type of array the answer is object that is why we need to understand the difference between an object because array is also type of object. Now the object have two primary difference from array. The big difference between object and array is this. When you create an array, it contains value index numerically. So if you wanted to access an array element, then you need to specify array index. Whereas when you're using object, it contains properties indexed by string or symbol. So if you wanted to access an object properties, then you can't use index values. The object property can access with the property string or symbol. The second biggest difference is array are ordered using index number. It means the zero index comes before the first index, whereas object doesn't have this limitation. In the object, it is not guaranteed that object dot a has come before the object dot b property right now this difference is quite confidential then what make object more important than an array in this advanced tutorial series you will completely get understand why we need to understand object because object are everywhere in javascript now let's create an object and print all properties on the console Suppose if you have this type of object which has multiple properties like this. So I will just say constant obj is equal to and we'll specify some properties. So we'll just say f1 hello f2 everyone f3 welcome f4 back to and f5 daily tuition. Now if you wanted to print all the properties on the console then what would you do do you access all the property one by one to print on the console or anything else let me show you the best way to print all these properties on the console if you are thinking to use control flow statement then you are right the best way to print all the properties of the object using for in loop like this so i'll just create an for in loop here so i will just say for and in the parenthesis, I will create a let f in object, right? So I will just specify obj here. And in the block, I will just print f, right? So this will print all the properties on the console. As simple as that. If you had the same idea to print object properties on the console, then you are very clever. If you are properly following all the JavaScript tutorials from the start, then this is not a very big deal for you to print all these properties on the console. Right? That's it. I hope you understand this lecture. 
if you have any question then you can ask me in the comment that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial